In this video, we're going to walk through the steps that you're going to need to complete to create your Gmetrics account. This is the account that you're going to use to study for your Certiport exam, IC3 GS5 Living Online. First thing that you're going to need to do, open up Google Chrome and go to gmetrics.net forward slash login. It's going to bring you to this home page and down here at the bottom of the sign in box you do not have an account so click sign up here. The registration process is pretty straightforward. We're going to fill out this information and the only thing that's going to be optional is this student ID number box here if your teacher would like you to fill that out. So for your first and last name you need to type them in exactly as they appear in Skyward or on your report card. We are in the United States in Florida. Once again this is an optional box if your teacher would like you to fill it out. For your email address you're going to put your student email account that was given to you by Seminole County. So go ahead and type that in. It's going to be your student ID number at student.myscps.com. So to save you a little bit of time, highlight this. And once it's highlighted, right click, copy it because your student email address is also going to act as your username. So right click in the username box and select paste and save yourself a little bit of time. Now your password is also going to be in a very specific format. It needs to be in the format of the four digit year you were born, the two digit month, and the two digit day. So for this example, Greg Holden was born in 2004. He was born in February and since we need two digits for the month and February is the second month we have to write it as 0, 2 and Greg was born on the 7th. Once again we need two digits for the day so we have to type 0, 7. Confirm the password and remember the format four digit year two digit month and two digit day 2004 February 02 the 7th 07 select your security question type in your answer make sure you keep this piece of information somewhere safe either on a piece of paper that your teacher has given you or somewhere in your phone because you're going to need this in case you forget your username or your password. So once you have this screen filled out, click confirm. And we have successfully created our account. I would recommend that you test this to make sure that it works by typing in your username and your password and signing in. We still should have the email address saved, so you should be able to paste that back in. Enter in Greg's password of 2004-0207, and it works.